Tuesday, September the 11th, just five minutes from the ES E-mini S&P 500 open. Dropped about 15 points from the high here in the Globex session. This is the Globex session. This is yesterday. This is a daily chart. We're into a trading range day again, possibly, or a continuation of a bear trend here. Globex volume, 200,000 contracts overnight. And when I say overnight, a reminder that I'm in Hong Kong, 12 hours ahead of New York. So this is 9.25 p.m., 9.26 p.m. And as from the video on the website, these lines here are yesterday's low, the close, the week open here, yesterday's high, and this is yesterday's session. Yesterday we got into a very slow grind of an open here, but eventually got some action. Because of the nature of the market, I'm set up for a just scalping until I can see that there's some trend underway or a significant swing underway. This is the open, which I'll put at the appropriate place when it opens. And again, I think I can put the Globex low of day here. And these are our levels. Globex high, previous two days ago, the high of the day. So pretty quiet at the moment. When it gets very quiet like this, I'm on the recording, I will skip through. But uh, you won't miss anything. If anything happens, it'll be recorded. And we are live. This is my account number here. This is an AMP Futures account in the USA. I've got it covered up here. Just as a precaution against some odd people out there that like to hack into these things. And before trading, I've had a word inside my own head, that is, with my committee. My leader, Richard, got the same name as me, Richard. My sage, little Einstein. Ken, Ken Du, my warrior who takes trades. The sage, of course, analyzes the trade. KK for Kamakura, the Buddha, quiet caregiver that looks after everybody. And my orphan, my little amigo, my little young kid who's frightened to death of anything that goes wrong. <laughs> it's KK's job to look after him. Doesn't always happen, but that's the, that's the setup. And we have Phoenix. Phoenix is my destroyer. He will take me out when necessary and not hang on there, not hoping for better, not hoping for recovery or whatever. This is my committee, the main members of my committee. Coming up to the open. Good trading, everybody. Okay, 205,000. We've opened at uh, 287125. That's nine points down. Just writing my journal. So the open. Here we go. 287125. Open. And we're in scalp mode here. One contract, one point, but with a swing stop. I don't like to go into scalping with a tight stop and then get annoyed when it gets taken out. So we'll wait and see what happens to the market for the first five minutes or so. These blue bars are 
relatively large orders. Now here you can see 667, 240 here. We're getting a bias on the bid here, which means it's potentially bullish. This is looking at orders of 50 or more. So there's no secret source number there. It's a little bit hit and miss sometimes. There we go. While I've been talking, we've got a two point bounce back up just from that information there. Talking too much again. Here we go. This is a two bar reversal. So we want to be looking for an opening reversal here or not. It's already been beaten down here. Still a healthy bid volume here. It needs to be higher. So we're in a tight bear channel here from the latter part of the Globex. So it's not wise to go long unless it's a really good setup. It's also not wise to go short just yet. It's too early. Pretty good volume on the first five minute bar. 50,000 nearly, 48,000. So pretty volatile. Now here, this is, see this? There's a scalp there. But once, once you miss that, you can't get in here because we're still inside this channel. Again, a slight bias on the bull side, the bid side that is here. Pretty mixed field there of market orders. Nothing really massive standing out. Still in the bear channel. Okay, now here we're getting some support here, possibly. Possible scalp back to the open here if it if this improves. But still in this bare channel, so be careful. Good pullback there. Wow, another scalp there if you're quick enough. Back to the open, as I think we just said a few moments ago. Dear me. Okay, we're outside the channel now. Let's see what happens. Well, I missed a trade there. These numbers here, I mean, that's sell orders as well as buy orders. You have to interpret it with a relative volume. Now, I'll be coming down for a pullback. Let's clear that quickly. Testing this trend line. But it's still a middle of a trading range here, really. Don't lose sight of the overall context. Well, the uh, limit orders have dried up at the moment. Just under 30,000 on the second five minute bar. This is the five minute bars here. This is what Al Brooks is trading. I keep it there just as a reference. I don't trade on it. I trade on this chart here. When it's moving quick like this, you've got no time to get orders in on the ladder. But uh, let me go back again. See how quick that's moving? To use these buttons here, market orders. See, another scalp there, my God. Well, that was a bit dangerous. Coming that down again. Going up again. A 
I'm going to have to start scalping these because if it keeps doing this now for the next God knows how long. Back up again. So watch the orders on this side here. Actually very little there. Not yet anyway. Again, the previous close of the day, close of the day is up here. So that's the gap on the open here to here. Moving average, exponential 21. Now here, you see this here? There's a lot of buying pressure underneath these bars. So a bit reluctant to go short here. Trapped out at the moment. Missed a couple of trades like here and here if we'd have been quick enough. I'm trying to get the hang of this talking and trading externally. Talking externally, that is. Instead of talking to myself. Oh, hang on here. As I said, very dangerous to go short here. But it's at the moving average. It's at the top of the range. So looking at a breakout here. Where could it go? Yesterday's low. So narrow. We've got about effectively one point or a bit more here where the action is taking place back up again. What's my analyst saying to me now? Saying take the trade. If you look at this cumulative number here, we've got a negative 2,500 and we're still up here. So we're actually biased towards the buy side. People buying, buying the sell orders. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, there it goes a bit. So if, if we'd have got in here, we've already got a swing here already. Yeah, there's some buying pressure here now. We're on a, a buy the close kind of market here. See this here? Let it come back, pull back, pull back, pull back. Okay, Albert, pull back. Yes, wait for the pull back. Okay, Ken, let's go. So buy the close there. Block over. Order filled. Okay, we're in now. Quite risky here, right at support or resistance, I should say. You can see my stop is well down here, 10 points. I'm not going to be letting it fall that far. Now, the reason why I took this trade was because there's an awful lot of big buy orders coming in here. So I can only assume it's going to go up. But that's not always the case in trading. But we'll have to be wait. Now, one point may be just too little to ask here. It might just jump through here. So this is a pullback. Now we're buying at the top, which is wonderful. On well, that case, we might be well be getting out. But let's wait and see. So we've got an awful lot of buy orders come in at 76 here. 25 and 750 at here. Some more coming in here now. Just going sideways, shaking people out. There we come. If it's going to break out, there's a good chance of a two point scalp here. I don't like this feature of having the 
money at the side of the ladder here. It's a bit off putting, but never mind. That's how it works. Deep breaths. Now the computers and the big guys that play this game, they can they've got all day. They just shake people out like us. Just have to close your eyes. I can't close my eyes for too long because I've got a wide, very wide stop here. Right now, see what happens here. Be very careful here because I'm going to get out if it doesn't go anywhere. And then, of course, it'll just carry on up after I get out. And don't forget, there's an awful lot of big orders have come in here. They can get out easier than what we can, but let's see what happens now. Real pity I didn't get in scalping further down, but there we go, that's the game. There's still a potential second Lucky. leg here. Oh, there we go, 251, 77. That's looking good. That's quite possibly going to close the gap here, but we're not going to hang around. Close my eyes. Oh, here it comes. Still pretty balanced here, so we could lose this still yet. Oh well, see? Come on, bulls. The bulls are here. This is going on a bit long for us human beings. Still relying on these large bowls. Still getting some support there. Tiny little bars. There we go. Come on. Now I really don't want to be allowing this to come back now. We can do it now. So the basis of my management now is it's really uh, it's going up. Now I can move the stop again. Target filled. Filled two points. Now let's see what happens. Now you can see that was quite a time waiting here. Got a potentially another two points to the close of the day here, but it's too risky. There, that's a potential move. Two legs up. But two points is okay. We could have had another couple of points down here scalping. Well, what did we learn from that one? We learned that despite expecting it to go up, it was a prolonged sideways tight trading range encouraging us to get out a lot of traders would have got out of course and that's what they want yes there was certainly a lot of buying activity a lot of buying pressure at the top of this that's my project management system telling me to take a break and we just had to hang on we had to suffer a just a six tick pull back here which is nothing really. If that had failed, I would have got out below this bar here. So I would have lost three points there. I might even have got out on here, two points. It looks like we're still edging up to the close of the day, but it's, it's too slow. 